In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Windows Server 2012 R2 to manage and monitor uh, storage performance. I'm running on a technical preview system here, but I'm going to restrict myself to the capabilities in 2012 R2. So to start, I'm going to bring up my Hyper-V Manager, where you can see that I have uh, two hosts, one called C1 that has four VMs, the other one called C2 that has three different VMs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to find one of these virtual machines that using a lot of my storage performance. I've been told that one of them is doing this. I'm going to go ahead and go here and bring up my performance monitoring tool. So I'm going to go and maximize performance monitor and I'm going to switch to the report mode. So you see that I'm uh, running on a computer called V1, but I'm actually going to monitor the storage performance on those two Hyper-V hosts that we saw before in Hyper-V Manager. But I can do that from here by simply pointing uh, my performance monitor to one of those. So I'm going to start with C1. And the counter you are looking for here is called the Hyper-V Virtual Storage Device. So I'm going to click on that. And I see great four virtual machines here. I'm going to go and add those. And you can see that I can already monitor those. But I'm going to go ahead and add the other one as well. So I can look at both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the C2 machine. All right. And I'm going to go over here and again find this virtual storage device counter. And this one has three VMs, as we saw previously. So with this, you can now see that I have uh, two sets of uh, virtual machines, uh, four in the first node, three in the second node. The data that I want to look at specifically is normalized throughput. So that is the number of normalized IOPS that each VM is generating. So I see this one here is using 250 or so. This one a little over 700. This one is around 5,000. So that's interesting. That's a little high. And this one is totally idle. So no, no throughput right now. Then uh, when I come here to the other host, I have one with 600. I have another one with 1,000. But look at this guy. This guy has over uh, 11,000, close to 12,000 uh, normalized uh, IOPS. So that is probably the VM I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and close Performance Monitor and show you how we would potentially uh, quiet that virtual machine that's being a noisy neighbor for others. So I would go back to my Hyper-V manager. Let's say that I want to do that for VM7. So what I need to do is I go here under Settings. And under Settings, you will find that I see the hard drive. And I can expand uh, the hard drive to see the quality of service setting. So what I can do here and say, I want to enable quality of service. And let's say that I want to limit this VM to 200 IOPS. So that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to limit so that this VM cannot generate more than that many uh, normalized IOPS. And if I apply that, then my noisy neighbor has been quieted down. So this was a demonstration of using the techniques in Windows Server 2012 R2 to monitor and manage storage performance.